Life is a story that endlessly unfolds. It is one of life's greatest pleasures when two souls meet and find their path intertwines with one another. Little do we understand how one moment, one glimpse, or one sweet word can change our destiny forever. That moment happened when Emily started her job at Emos and met Doug. Doug, when I first met you, I never expected this journey to turn into a lifetime, but here we are. You have been my best friend and rock for the past 3,494 days. I want to thank you for going on the 930 ice cream trips, listening to my terrible singing voice, putting up with my obnoxious dance moves, even though I'm sure they embarrass you. And most of all, thank you for loving me, even when I forget to love myself. I hope the rest of our lives include endless adventures, infinite laughter together, and many more corgis. Even though they met while still in their teens, Doug and Emily have never questioned where tomorrow would take them. They just always knew it would have them with one another. They never questioned the love they share. They just always knew it would be forever and always. Dear Emily, I'm so excited to be your husband. I feel like the luckiest man in the world. These last two years have just flown by. Feels like just yesterday I was down on one knee asking you to be my wife. I always remember that moment. It's definitely my favorite moment of our lives so far. But I think today will be the best one yet. And there will be so many more memories to come. I love you so much. I love your determination. You set goals. You never give up on them. And you have never given up on me. You pushed me to be a better man. And I wouldn't be who I am without you. In 1 Corinthians 13, 13, we, it is said that there are three things that last, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Because faith and hope belong to us solely, for love is the only one that we give away. That's why love is the greatest gift. I promise to love you even when you spend multiple hours on your video games, and I will forever love your calves even when you get old. Never forget, that I love you. Sometimes it's hard to find words to tell you how much you mean to me. If I did anything right in my life, it was when I gave my heart to you. You are my best friend, my soulmate, my everything. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Doug, do you take Emily to be your wife? Do you promise to protect, cherish, and respect her? To give her your hand to hold and your heart to keep? Do you promise to always make her pancakes just the way she likes them? I do. <laughs> Emily, do you take Doug to be your husband? Do you promise to honor, cherish, and respect him? Do you promise him your hand to hold and your heart to keep? Do you promise to respect his man cave and his gaming time? I do. the nicest people I've ever met. You're always there for anybody that needs help or just someone to talk to. I love your sense of humor. I love that we are both so goofy together. Making weird faces and chasing each other around the house. I love making you laugh with my horrible singing because I always forget the words. I feel you are the only person who truly knows me. You have always been there for me, good times and bad. When my mom passed away, you helped me so much. I just wanted to shut down, but you were there to comfort me. It was a hard part of my life, but you were there. I'm looking forward to spending the rest of our lives together, going on our honeymoon in the near future. I can't wait. I'm also looking forward to buying our forever home, growing old together, and traveling the world with you and so much more. You are so beautiful. And I know you are going to look amazing in your dress, and I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle towards me. Doug and Emily, by the power vested in me by the state of Illinois, I am proud to pronounce you husband and wife. 
You may now kiss your beautiful bride. Emily telling me how she met Doug while working at Emo's and she knew it was love at first sight when she saw his calves. She said she would let every girl at Emo's know that Doug was her man and I wouldn't put it past her. When Emily wants something, she gets it. I've known Don a long time, and uh, I'm so glad that you guys invited me here to be the best man. And I know your your mom and your dad would be, and I just appreciate it. Emily, I'm so proud of you and your accomplishments this far, and I can't wait to see where life takes you and Doug when you graduate. You have so many goals and dreams that I'm so happy you will get to share them with your new husband. I hope your big day was everything you had imagined because you deserve it. I know we don't hang out or talk like back in the old days, but we both know that we are there for each other no matter what, and I think that's why our friendship is so strong and has stayed this strong for 10 years now. I love you guys and I wish you nothing but many years of happiness. Who is more romantic? Who plans the more elaborate dates? Who wears the pants in the relationship? You've heard of the masked singer. Well, this is the masked dancer about eight years ago me and Doug were Jake and Jessica's best man and maid of honor and they decided to smash cake in our faces so we've waited a long time to get them back so it's been a long time coming and it worked out well so 